every single emergency siren failed during a test today in Claremont County. Reporter Jake Ryle is speaking with officials about the fix. Jake? Well, guys, Claremont County officials say it was a lightning strike, which caused the countywide siren system to fail. The good news, though, with all of this, officials say the problem has been fixed. As we've seen over the past few months, it is a problem that has had happened multiple times in multiple counties. Stephanie Porter lives within 100 feet of one of Claremont County's 70 sirens. It's loud, um, but we've grown used to it since we've been here about six years now. Which is why she noticed the silence come Wednesday at noon. I hope they fix it and it'd be nice to have been notified that it, they're not working. A malfunction due to a lightning strike caused all of the tornado sirens to go down. I don't think it's too funny, but I mean, it was kind of just like, wow, and then really think that happening too much. You always hear it every month, so I didn't really realize it happened until you said something. The county siren contractor came in with a fix within a few hours. Rewind to March 23rd in Clinton County. I went outside and I could see the dark it was black and I knew somebody was getting it. Clinton County Emergency Management Director Thomas Breckel confirmed the 27 outdoor sirens throughout the county failed due to a malfunction. It happened when the sirens were needed most, warning residents of an approaching EF0 tornado. Well, we need it fixed. <laughs> we need that because if you're away from your phone, you're going to be in trouble. You can't hear it. Clinton County is set for another test on Friday at noon. Claremont County officials say they worked quickly to keep folks safe. Now, as for Claremont County, they have scheduled a tornado siren test for Thursday at noon. Back to you.